A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> In the early days of the western United States, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the new territory. His courage was only matched by his sense of fair play, and Indians and white men alike turned to him for help. It was for this reason that he was able to settle so many disputes between them by peaceful means. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come along, Silver! There's going to be trouble in the Miller Creek country. We've got to hurry. Hail Silver! Away! As our story opens, the Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, had reined in their horses behind the express office at the little crossroads town of Three Forks. They're watching the approach of a stage from the east. That must be the stage we've been waiting for, Tonto. The regular stage on this run isn't due for several hours yet. Mm, that ain't all right. I hope the government has sent the right kind of man to settle the argument between Canfield and Chief White Cloud. Uh. The Indians are in the right. And if Canfield is permitted to steal their land, there may be trouble. White Cloud, maybe go on warpath. He's lived at peace with the whites for a good many years. But he'll not let his tribe be cheated. Uh. Tonto. What matter? And fellow standing just beyond the hitching post. Isn't that Roof Corby? Hmm, that him. One of Canfield's men. Tonto, he must be here for the same reason we are. To learn who's been appointed to judge the quarrel between his boss and the Indians. Uh. And he'll make a report. He can beat the stage in Newton by almost a week on horseback. Stage trail go long way round. Canfield isn't taking chances. Here's the stage now, Kimasabi. Careful we're not seen. <laughs> His legs I might have to ride inside all morning. Yeah. Stand back, folks. Let the judge get out. Judge will be here for a couple of minutes changing horses if he feel like getting out for a bit. Thank you, Frank. I think I will. I'll feed the horses now. All right, fellas, hurry up. You the fellow the government sent us to noon, mister? How's things at Washington? Who'd you figure's the right of it? Canfield or them engines? <laughs> Gentlemen, please, one question at a time. Here you are, Judge Allen, ain't you? Have we met before? It ain't that, Judge. Just that I heard the guard there call you by your title. There's been some talk that maybe you'd be the one that was sent out here. Oh. <laughs> Reckon it won't take you long to show them redskins where they get off. I'm not entirely acquainted with the facts. Of course you ain't. But from the little I've been told, the issue seems clear. Sure it is. Them engines are trying to grab what's right three canfields. Yes? That wasn't my impression. Why, Jess, the whole thing's down in black and white. Canfield's land runs up to Bitter Creek in the south, and the reservation starts on the other side of the creek. But now White Cloud's claiming land north of the creek. But when the boundaries of the reservation were agreed upon, the creek didn't follow its present course. That don't make no difference. It seems to me to make a considerable difference. A landslide changed the course of Bitter Creek, didn't it? Yeah. But when Chief White Cloud signed the treaty with the government, 
The creek flowed several miles north of its position now. Oh, well, what if it did? All that agreement says is that the Indians get the land south of Bitter Creek. If the creek changes course, why, that's just the Redskins' hard luck. They should have thought of that maybe happening when they signed the treaty. Mm. Canfield would become an immensely wealthy man if I decided in his favor, wouldn't he? He ain't asking for nothing but what's his. You're one of his men? I never said a word. No, I noticed hey, that. Yes? Better get inside. We're all hitched up and ready to start. Thank you, Eric. Well, good day, sir. Uh, wait, Judge. Well? Uh, then you're going to give that land to them blasted redskins? I haven't said that. Well, but just now you said... I said that the facts as I know them seem to favor White Cloud. I may find when I'm on the ground that there are other circumstances which alter the case. Until then, I'm certainly not qualified to express a definite opinion. Uh, but you good said... day. All set, Judge? Tell Eric to go ahead, Frank. Get up there! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Ruth was asking Judge Allen a lot of questions, Tonto. Hmm. Wait, he's getting on his horse. Him look plenty mad. You see which way he's going? Him go west. He'll report to Canfield that Judge Allen is sympathetic to the Indians. Uh. And Canfield isn't the kind of man to agree to arbitration unless he's sure the judgment will go in his favor. Him crook. He'll do something to make sure he wins out. And he won't care whether it's within the law or not. Just so it serves his purpose. Uh. Tonto, I want you to ride on to Newton. Tonto, do that. Try to find out what Canfield plans when he hears from Ruth Corby. Uh -huh. Then meet me at her old camp in the hills. I'll ride ahead of the stage to make sure none of Canfield's men are on the stage trail. Judge Allen has to arrive at Newton safely. Uh, Come on, get him up, Scout. Several days later, that Phil Canfield entered the office of Bert Buckman, Indian agent for White Cloud's reservation. Howdy, Canfield. Have a chair. Uh, See, what's ailing you? This blasted office of yours, Bert, is getting overrun with redskins. <laughs> I'm Indian agent, ain't I? And teach them redskins to get out of the way when a white man comes along. Yeah? I nearly bumped into one just now because he wouldn't get off the side of the steps I was coming up. And there wasn't room to go around him? What difference does that make? I'll have a look and see who it was. I don't hold with them engines getting too independent. There ain't no one out there now. Hmm. Reckon he got scared and beat it. That's all that was troubling you? Not by a blame sight. What I want to know is what's happened to Roof. I expected him back yesterday. It's a long ways to Three Forks and back, Canfield. He knows we're waiting on his word. Oh, he'll get back as soon as he can. You ain't worried about not getting that land, are you? Why wouldn't I worry about it? Ain't it worth a fortune? Shucks. Judge Allen's the only one we got to be afraid of. Anybody else they'd be likely to send out here, Commissioner Langley or one of them, would be sure to look at it your way. I aim to be certain. And besides, <laughs> ain't I here to testify you got the right of it? After what I paid you, you say anything different, and I'll make it so blasted hot for you. <laughs> Doggone if you ain't touchy. You're Who's all... that? Huh? Well, now, <laughs> after all your hollering, here comes Roof now. Yes? Yeah. Look for yourself. We was just talking about your roof. Here, boss. Well, what'd you find out? It's Judge Allen. Oh. Well, I'll be switched. You sure of that roof? I ought to be. I talked to him. What'd he say? He said enough to show he's a us. Yeah? He said from what he'd heard about it that White Cloud ought to get the land. Just what I was afraid of. And that means... That means that he's got to be took care of. Huh? Took care of? Are you loco? Just loco enough to aim to have that land, no matter who the government was fool enough to send out here. But can't... And just loco you... enough to have figured maybe this would happen. And make a plan to take care of it. You got a scheme, boss? You just bet I have. Close that window, Roof. Right, boss. And I'm telling you this. After I get through, I'll not only have the land I want, but I'll have every engine around these parts hightailing away from here to save his skin. Now, listen. Whoa, Scout. Whoa, fella. You got the Whoa. Newton all right, Tonto? Huh? <coughs> me. Me get there. Had a feller named Roof. Good. Did you learn what Canfield said when he found out Judge Allen had been appointed? Him? Him not like him. I expected that. But I wonder what he'll do about it. Me not hear that. Him got scheme, though. Yes? Him say him get land, make plenty trouble for White Cloud. But you couldn't hear any more than that? Tonto stand by window. When him tell scheme, him close window. So he expects to get the land he wants and make trouble for the Indians at the same time. Uh, I'd give a lot to know what his plan is. Tonto, try to find out. 
Canfield feller plenty careful. Of course, he'd keep the judge from reaching Newton. He and his men could stop the stage, even make the judge a prisoner or kill him. Ah. Well, that wouldn't serve his purpose, because the stage trail is on this side of the mountains, and White Cloud's reservation is on the other. If anything happened to the judge on the trail, it would be white men who would get the blame, not Indians. Mm, that's right. The only way Indians could reach the trail from their reservation would be to pass through Newton. And then it'd be known in town whether or not Indians had left. Uh. So the Indians can't be made to appear guilty unless Judge Allen's body is found on their land. And Canfield would never dare to capture the judge on the trail, then take him to the reservation through town. If there were a pass through the mountains that men on horseback could use... Oh, but I've never heard of one. Mm, Tonto not know any. Probably can't feel it's a scheme he'll use after Judge Allen reaches Newton. Uh, Here, Silver, what we do? The stage that bring the judge is still quite a distance west of us. Uh -huh. I'm going to try to persuade Judge Allen to return to Three Forks until we can learn what Canfield plans. Uh -huh. Not good. Come on, Kimosabe. I'm still How far do you figure we'll get it for a nightfall, Eric? Well, we'll most likely have to put up at Benton Crossing long enough to get a few hours sleep and fresh horses. Then we'll hit the trail again. The government's sure in a hurry to get the judge to Newton. Uh-huh. That's just why he's got us with a special stage and all, instead of traveling by regular stage. Get up there! You noticed roof back at Three Forks, didn't you? <laughs> I figured Canfield had sent somebody to check up. Well, all I can say is I sure wish we'd pull into Newton now. Shucks, it'll be another week before that happens. Yeah. Wonder how the judge is making out inside. You ought to be feeling mighty shook up by this time. Frank. Huh? What's the matter? Look over yonder, cutting across the prairie. Two horsemen. And the one on the white horse's mask. Grab your guns, they're trying to head us off. Lay into them horses. Come on, you critters. Show me some speed, dog gun, you lazy hides. That other hombre's a redskin. Say, look at them horses there and stretch out. Get off the stage. Pull up there. What's he shouting something about pulling up on it? Come on, Silver. They can't be from Canfield, can they? You sure wouldn't have no engine working for him. Yeah, just hold up, man. Get along, blast your hides. Get up. We ain't going to get past them. Throw some lead their way. I'll try, but it ain't easy aiming with the stage bounced around like this. You never even come close. Hang up for oil fire. Get away from here. Shoot again, Frank. I'll fix those glasses. Ow! Oh! He drill you? Blasted the gun right out of my hand. The next time will be closer. You better do like he says, Eric. Just be mad as a bear. Oh, bear. Oh, whoa, oh, 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 We ain't carrying anything worth of stealing. I've got to speak to gun challenge. What's the meaning of this? Eric, who are these men? What did they stop us for? Don't ask me, Judge. I don't Judge, know. you've got to turn back. You're giving me orders? I'm warning you. It isn't safe for you to go to Newton. Preposterous. I know what I'm talking about, Judge. Down to here learned that Canfield is some kind of scheme to start trouble. I want you to return to Three Forks until we can find out what that scheme is. He's crazy, Judge. One moment. Stranger, you say that Canfield will try to harm me? Yes. What's his plan? I can't tell you that yet, but I I'll... see it, Judge. If the Redskins don't want you to get to Newton, they figure you'll learn some facts that'll make you decide to get them. Why, look, there's even a redskin that had the crust to come along with his mask, fella. You're probably right, Eric. You have nothing more definite to tell me? Your danger is definite, sir. Only its form is doubtful. I see. Eric. Yeah? Are you afraid? Would you and Frank rather turn back? Not by a blame sight. Very well. You'll drive on. As for you, sir, if this has been a trick to aid the Indians, you've failed. If you've told me the truth, I want you to understand I've never run in the face of danger. And I'm not a man to learn to be a coward now. Eric. Get those horses started. Get up there! Get along with you! Get up there! The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. When the Lone Ranger stopped the stage carrying Judge Allen to Newton and warned him of danger ahead, the judge refused to listen. We see the masked men and Tonto as they sit astride their powerful horses, watching the stage disappear in the distance. Why you not make him go back? For several reasons, Tonto. Oh. In the first place, he saw that you were an Indian. If we use force to make him return to Three Forks, he'd blame the Indians and possibly decide against them. Mm, that's right. And in the second place, I doubt that he's in real danger as long as he's on the trail. As long as White Cloud's Indians are on the other side of the mountains, there's no pass through which they could reach the trail except for the hills thin out beyond Newton. Canfield couldn't possibly shoot Judge Allen and make it look as though the Indians were guilty. Mm, what we do now? There's just one thing we can do, warn White Cloud. Uh -huh. We can still beat the stage of Newton by several days. White Cloud's village is close by, and we'll let him know that Canfield is likely to start trouble after the judge reaches town. Then White Cloud guard against trouble. Right. He can set a few of his cleverest braves to spy on Canfield if he wishes. He can give orders to the rest of his tribe to stay in their village where Canfield can't get them mixed in his scheme. Uh. In the meantime, we'll be on hand to stop whatever Canfield starts. Mm, we stop him. Come on, Tonto. Now for White Cloud's village. Hi, you him up there. Go away. The masked man and Tonto raced ahead of the stagecoach. First to Newton, then on to White Cloud's village. Here we are, Tonto. Oh, 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 oh. There's White Cloud. Oh, him see us. Him come this way. Hello, White Cloud. Oh, white friend. How? Oh. Kimo Sabe, Tonto. Uh, how, White Cloud? Me not see you long time. White Cloud wonder why friends not come make talk. There have been many things to keep us away, White Cloud. Ah, but you here now. We make big feast, make... Not now, good friend. What matter? I'm sorry, but we brought bad news. What's that? We heard about your quarrel with Canfield, White Cloud. We know that he's trying to steal land that rightfully belongs to you. That's why Tonto and I are here. Ah, Canfield feller make big trouble. But he's planning even more. Him make more trouble? White Cloud... Canfield was hoping that the government would appoint a man who hates the Indians to arbitrate in your dispute. Me know that. But the man who was appointed is Judge Allen. He's an honest man, White Cloud, and he'll decide exactly as the facts warrant. Me plenty glad to hear that. But that's just it. Canfield will attempt any kind of trickery to make the decision go his way. He's got some kind of crooked plan, White Cloud. A plan to get you and your tribe in trouble. What plan? I don't know, but I wanted to warn you so that you could be on your guard. Ah. Don't let your braves go into town where a fight could be started. That happened, Canfield would claim that your people were only brutal savages and deserved to have your land taken from you as punishment. See him clever like Fox. If Canfield suggests anything to you, study it carefully. He may try to... Huh? What that? Didn't that scream come from your lodge, White Cloud? Uh, that Indian name, Little Crow. Little Crow? Him bad Indian. Him big coward. That sounded as though he was being punished for something. Ah, uh, Little Crow get gold from Pale Face. Tell Pale Face he bid secret. He told a secret for gold? Ah, uh, his secret only Indian know. Long time it's secret of my tribe. But Little Crow tell white man. Now, Little Crow, him pay. What secret could your tribe have, White Cloud, that would interest one of my race? You good friend. You like brother, White Cloud. Me tell you. Yes? They are passed through mountains, only Indian know. What's that? A pass through the mountains? Ah, uh, Indian no way through hills. White man not know them. And Little Crow told that secret to a white man. Mm. Tonto, we uh -huh. were wrong. There is a way through the mountains to the trail. And someone was interested enough in that pass to pay for the information and gold. What do you think? I think that Judge Allen's life is in danger right now. We've got to get back to him. White Cloud. What matter? I thought that the judge would be safe until he reached Newton. But this changes everything. Don't you see what Canfield can do? If he was the man who paid Little Crow for your secret, he can send men to capture the judge, take the judge through the mountains onto your reservation, and leave him to be found there so that your tribe will be blamed for his death. You think him do that? I do, and we've got to prevent it. Will you help me, White Cloud? White Cloud, help. Then get half a dozen of your braves, mount them on your swiftest horses, ah. and we'll see if we can reach the stage before Canfield's men do. <laughs> Hey, Canfield, ain't that the stage up ahead? That's it, all right. Oh, 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 oh. You sure the three of us can handle this, boss? I told you I got things fixed with the driver and guard, didn't I? They won't put up no fight. Then we head for that pass the engine told you about, eh? Right. Hold on! Pull in them horses! There's Canfield there 
for anything. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, Judge. What right have you... That'll any... be enough out of you. Harry? Yeah? You and Frank are riding with us as well as the Judge. We brought three extra horses. Oh, riding boy. with you? Look here. You see this here? A gun. <laughs> uh-huh. And that shooting iron says you're climbing into that there saddle without no more argument. But I tell you... you... Feel, why don't you plug him now and have it over with? I'll give the orders here, Bert. Judge is going with us alive because it's a heap easier to open a live hombre along with us than a dead one. Now, Judge, get in that saddle. You, you're Canfield? <laughs> That's me. Do you think I won't remember this? Eric, Frank, are you in this man's pay? Why not, Judge? He pays good wages. Ready to go, fellas? Yeah, ready. To go. You'll be punished for this. Punished? <laughs> Shucks, Judge. I don't see how that can be. I never yet heard of a dead man giving evidence in court. <laughs> All right, let's go. Get up there. Get up. Oh, Silver. Oh, 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 Empty. Canfield was ahead of us. Tonto, can you tell how long ago they were here? Huh? Me, me take a look. There. There are plenty tracks here. White Cloud, how far from here is the pass you told me about? It's five, six hour ride. Five or six hours. They haven't had too big of a start. Well, maybe catch them? Here comes Tonto. We'll see what he has to say. What did you find, Tonto? Uh, then not gone long. Half hour, maybe. I wonder what white friends think. White Cloud. Didn't you tell me the entrance to the pass is marked by an Indian symbol? Ah, that's right. And it starts at a valley at the base of Stony Mountain? Many canyons lead from valley. Only one canyon, right canyon. I believe I have an idea. Now, there are no signs on the stage of a gunfight. No, me not see bullet hole. That probably means Judge Allen is still alive. They'll not harm him until they get through the mountains and onto the reservation. Ah. And if that's the case, I believe we can save him. You got plan? I have. White Cloud. Huh? From the hoof prints that show, it looks as though there were at least five or six men in Canfield's party. Uh, you were right. With only a half hour's head start, I believe that Tonto and I can get to the pass before Canfield reaches it. You hold them till White Cloud comes? That might be possible. We depend on other things, though. I have still another plan. What that? There's no time to explain. Every minute we waste, they're drawing away from us. Uh. But ride for the pass, White Cloud, and I promise you that Canfield and his men will be captured. Hi, get up, Scott! Boss, look over there. Huh? Maybe I was wrong, but I was sure I seen two horses over to the left. Yeah? Over beyond that draw. Any of you fellas see anything? I didn't. Me neither. Roof, you most likely just imagine it. Gosh, I was almost sure I seen him. Well, it don't matter if you did. There's five of us and just two of them. They can't hold us up, and if they start anything, we'll finish it. How much farther we got to go, Canfield? Just a couple of more miles. Get up there. 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 Get up. Oh, oh. Is this the valley, Canfield? This is it, all right. Golly. How in blazes are we going to find which canyon is the one we want? There's more than a dozen of them. Well, there's a stone marking the one we want. But there's stones in front of all of them. I know that as well as you do. The canyon we're looking for has got a stone in front of it with an engine sign scratched right on top of it. An engine sign? A snake and a turtle. Now get moving and look for a sign like that. When you find it, sing out. Sure. Get yeah. up there. Come on, get up there about this will come out some way, Canfield. You can't murder me and go unpunished. <laughs> you sure look on the hopeful side of things, don't you, Judge? What do you hope to gain by this? Killing me won't change the facts in the case. Nope. But when folks figure the Redskins drill you, they ain't gonna worry about facts. They'll just unlimber their shooting irons and run the engines clean off the map. I found it, Canfield. That's the canyon right over there. Oh, 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 Good. Oh, now, hey, Canfield. What's Frank yelling? There's the canyon. I located the sign you want right in front of it. Oh. You're loco. I found the canyon. That's it there. Why, it can't be. I'm telling you. You both I'm... found canyons with the engine sign? I know blame well I did. Hey, Eric, signaling something. Here, it's over here. Come around. Well, I'll be... That makes a third one. And look. 
Ruth's found another. Is everybody crazy? What are we going to do? What can we do? Now we got to try them all till we find out which is the right one. Come on. Get up, get up, get up. This ain't the right one. We can't go no further this way. It's a blind canyon. Blasted luck. What in thunder could have happened? This is the third canyon we've tried, and everyone's been the wrong one. We've got to find the pass. We can't take the judge through Newton to the reservation. And by heavens, we'll go back and try again. It'll take a week to try them all. That can't be helped. If we need a week, we'll take it. Now, let's get... Oh. Look! That, that masked man and the redskin we've seen before. And there's engines with them. We're trapped. Shoot them. Shoot them. We can't fight them all. I am, but if you hadn't got here... Boss, that masked man. But it was him and the redskin there and that paint horse I seen pass us on the way here. We did pass you, Ruth. Then it was you that, that put marked that... those stones? It was. If it hadn't been for that, we'd have got away. Tonto and I were watching you all the time. If you were chosen the right canyon, we'd have tried to hold you until White Cloud came up. This is White Cloud? Me, White Cloud. Then I want to thank you for the part you've played in saving my life. And I think I can promise that when I settle the boundaries of your reservation, you'll have nothing to complain about. You thank man in mask. Him save you. Hey, oh, The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger, Incorporated.